Welcome to my accessories and mods for my R5S e-bike part 9. Low profile road tires. They said it couldn't be done, but here you are. These are 3 inch road tires stretched over a 3.5 inch rim. The bike originally came with these set of tires, four inch knobby tires. They're very aggressive and impressive. But then I thought to myself, I'm not going to use this bike on sand nor ride it in the snow. I would like to get less road friction since I was most likely be using the bike on roads and some dirt trails. Less road friction means you'll be going faster without using more energy, whether you're pedaling or you're fully electric. I searched and searched, but could not find a four inch road tire. The widest I've seen is three inches and below. What happens though when you put a three inch tire on three and a half inch rim? I tried to do some research on this but came up with very vague results. Also I could not find any videos out there of people that have tried this already. If you ask any bike shop professional they will highly discourage you from doing this and for good reasons. If you try to ask them to do it for you they will not help you as they do not want to be held liable. I did, however, find two postings of some people that have tried it and it was working out for them. This concept is used a lot in cars. The tires are stretched over a wider rim and it will give the tire a lower profile. So I went ahead and tried it for my bike. If you want to do the same, do so at your own risk. I found a three inch tire and after some finagling, I was able to fit it on my three and a half inch rim. What you need to do is position the tire on the rim and start inflating. As you're inflating, you have to constantly squeeze all around while you're inflating so that the bead here sits properly inside the rim. You have to keep inflating and checking the side walls every few pumps. If the tire is not even on any side, you will have to deflate and start over. This was a very tedious job, but the end results are just amazing. This lowered my bike an inch. And because I'm short, I'm able to get on the bike much easier now. Check out my other videos about the crank extension I added due to my height issues. The bike now rides smoother, quieter, and with less friction. It is important though to keep the tires inflated to 32 to 35 pounds as the tires need to be seated properly in the rim. Check out these before and after comparison pictures for differences. The front wheel was easy to take off. You just remove the bolts and she slides right off. Then you're able to change the tire. But the rear wheel, where the motor is, this was a problem. The rear wheel just wouldn't come off the frame. 
And I believe it's done like that on purpose because of the amount of torque that the motor pushes. So that you need a special tool to remove the rear wheel where the motor is. I don't have this tool, unfortunately. So I had to take the bike to a electric bike shop, not a regular bike shop, as they don't have the tool either. But the electric bike shop, uh, they have the tool to uh, kind of hold the, the rear forks and then are able to uh, pull, pull the, the wheel off. Uh, pull the wheel off. To put the wheel back on is not a problem. But because it was removed, extra precautions will now need to be taken so that the wheel does not fly out of the frame while you're going 30 miles an hour. See my video on the torque arm modification that I had to do and that I highly recommend for anyone owning an e-bike as it is crucial for your life and bike. Since I don't want to go through that fitting a smaller size tire on a wider rim again for a long time, what happens if you get a flat? These road tires are pretty hard, but you might still get a puncture. So after doing some research, I decided to add flat out to the tires while I was inflating. Here it is. So you add almost half a bottle in the front tire and almost half a bottle in the rear tire. So only, you're only left with not even less, much less than a quarter. I don't know, you can see the liquid there, but it's like right above, right at the beginning of the uh, clear part. I've seen some uh, tests with this product flat out and um, it was able to seal a puncture from a nail um, and that's good enough for me. If, it, if it's able to seal a puncture from a nail, I'm able to get home and then if I need to change a tire, um, then I'll, I'll do it then. But at least I'm not stranded. So. Because, like I said, it's very difficult to remove the wheels and change the tires on the fly, like in, like in a conventional bike. So that's my two cents on a lower profile road tire for your fat e-bike. I think it gives it a nice, unique look and serves a purpose as well.